The Edo State House of Assembly has impeached the state embattled Deputy Governor Philip Shaibo, and then several months of political drama between him and Governor Godwin Obasaki. He was impeached during the House's plenary session on Monday in Benin City, the Edo State Capitol. Shaibo's impeachment followed the adoption of the report of a seven-man committee set up by the Chief Judge of the State Justice Daniel Okungboa to investigate allegations of misconduct against the Deputy Governor. During plenary at the Assembly Complex in Benin City, the Edo State Capitol, the Majority Leader of the House, Charity Iwo Warega said the report of the seven-man judicial panel of inquiry presented to the House had two findings and one recommendation. She further disclosed that while the report of the panel was unable to establish the case of perjury leveled against the deputy governor, the panel found him guilty of disclosure of government secrets. According to the report, the seven-man judicial panel of inquiry recommended that the deputy governor be impeached on grounds of disclosure of such secrets. Now, the clerk of the House, Yahaya Omogbai, conducted a head count of the lawmakers who voted for and against the impeachment of Shaibo. 18 out of 19 members present at plenary voted for the impeachment of the deputy governor, while one abstained from the head count and voting process. Uh, Representative who presented first, and uh, unfortunately, the respondent absented himself and did not put up anything on the other side of uh, the divide. Consequently, the panel came up with a report, and that report was to the extent that of the two allegations that were levied against the respondent, the one burden on perjury was not proved. Reason being that uh, the intent to uh, give false information was not there. Even though what information that was given is false, but there was no intention to so give, or rather the intention to so give a uh, false information was not proved. But on the other side, the one that borders on a uh, disclosure of official secrets, the panel found the respondent as guilty as charged. And that is enough as far as uh, the requirement for impeachment is concerned. And uh, we are in a house of 24 members with 18 people voting. What is actually required is 16 people. So that is more than the two-third that the set session of the constitution requires. As a result of which a finding of impeachment was reached and the deputy governor was consequently pronounced as impeached. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.